everyone, the 2023 edition of the World Series of Poker is drawing to a close. But among the last tournaments on the summer schedule, we still have a choice piece, the $10,000 No Limit Hold'em Six Max event. It's a competition that pros the world over love, particularly those from Team Winamax who've often left their mark on it in the past. No one will have forgotten Davidi Katai's runner-up finish in 2016, which earned him half a million dollars, or more recently, the amazing group effort witnessed during the 2022 edition when Adrian Mateos, Pierre Calamusa, Romain Lewis, and Davidi again were all still in contention as the final table was approaching. Over 500 players will be filling the tables at this 2023 edition, and if you're looking for familiar faces, you'll be spoiled for choice. Leo Margetz, Romain Lewis, and Alexandre Riard are all in the hunt for a second bracelet, as are Mustafa Kanit, Davidi Katai, and Yo Viral. You'll also have the chance to meet a true poker legend, Swedish terror Victor Blom, aka Isildur, as well as John Juanda, Tony Lin, Cliff Josephi, Vanessa Cade, and Maria Konnikova, a renowned author who has recently discovered a real talent for Texas Hold'em. In the midst of all this great talent, we're going to focus on Joao Vieira. Having arrived in Vegas at the start of the festival, the Portuguese number one has spared no effort in his quest for a third bracelet. In six weeks, Joao has reached no less than four final tables in tournaments reserved for specialists. In horse, stud high-low, deuce to seven, he even made a mark in good old Texas Hold'em, finishing eighth in the $25,000 high roller. All great performances, of course, but it's the bracelet and nothing else that motivates our hero, renowned for leaving nothing to chance in his preparation to shine at the highest level. In fact, before heading off to the tables at the Horseshoe, let's meet Joao at his hotel for some final adjustments before kickoff. It's your turn, Joao. series have been going well I've made a lot of deep runs four final tables I've been really really close to the third uh, world title today is one of my favorite tournaments at 10k 6 max it's my one of my variants one of my specialities I already have one six max title so really looking forward to actually have a, a good showing today Before the, the tournament start, I'll, I'll just try to check some hands, try to study a little bit, get myself in the groove, see some spots, keep myself sharp. When the, the mind is sharp, it's easier to perform. So I like to do this little quick study just to, you know, tighten some loose hands. All right, it's time to go. On time, I'm gonna be early for the tournament. We gotta walk, small walk, but it's 45 degrees, so I'll certainly be warmed up when I get there. Oh, yeah, today's really hot. This is gonna be a long walk, eight minutes, but 45 degrees. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, let's see how, how it goes. End of the series, everybody's a bit reckless, everybody's a bit tired. I think I have to adapt, use my experience. Um, it's gonna be a different tournament and see how the, how the table is and just go with the flow. Uh, dia 10 Today we have a very special day. We are accompanied by the Dalatet do Pro. Vamos jogar este torneio a partir da primeira mão, Bem, já começou hoje. Vamos começar bastante cedo, começou há 5 minutos atrás. É um torneio com uma estrutura muito deep, 6 max, não limit hold'em. E vamos estar a gravar a primeira mão, desde a primeira mão. E esperemos, com muita, com muita força, que seja até a última mão do torneio. A ver se fazemos algo bonito, 
Uh, é isso. Hoje é o torneio que eu tenho mais vontade de jogar nos últimos tempos. Estou com muita concentração, muita vontade de fazer algo especial. Mostrar ali um bonito póquer, vamos ver se as cartas ajudam. Fazemos aqui um meu tipo run, como deve ser. E poder, como sempre, no site da Mind of a Pro, da lá até do Pro, de mostrar-vos tudo na primeira pessoa. Vamos a isto. Let's do this. The golden ticket is being printed. Now it's time to go to the to the table. Today is going to be a bit interesting. I have inside the mind of a pro filming it, so also have to be aware how people react. Some guys want to want to do some TV TV material. Some guys will be more retracted, more timid. Hi. Hi. Portugal here. Okay. Let me see your ID. Oh. Hello. Hey, hey yeah, I don't think I know anybody. That's a good sign. A couple of young guys, but... So we're to start 100 to 100. 60k, 30 BBs, pretty deep. Looked like a good table, but I guess it's time to move. I wasn't. No, I'm not happy about it. This was a good one. Thanks, Mitsu. All right. Time to move again. Hopefully, I can find another another table as good as this one. Let me see. Let me see why I drew. Oh, new table. Okay. Hey. This gentleman, I don't know. Okay. This gentleman, I know. I final tail with him the 5k6 max. Hey. English lad, good player. Six max pro. <laughs> feel like we've done this before. <laughs> Wait, one more player. Like, yeah. Oh, this guy I know. Victor Bloom, Isildur. He also battled before. Good to see him back. This guy I don't know. Neither do I. To this guy. Okay, we see a couple of professionals. A couple of un unknowns. Let's see how they play. We have time. So let's try to use the first the first levels to try, to try to map it out. See who they are, how they play. What's their level of experience? Or what's the level of skill? And just just go from there. I'll try to take it easy at the beginning. But you know, the plan can go easily out of the window. Ace five off. Let's get in the action. Okay. Cut off first a small blind, let's see. I don't know much about them, so I'm just gonna play quite straightforward, very technical, and see it from there. Not the best flop, but I think I can I can still see better. I have the ace of clubs, powerful card. I might use it later on. Let's make it 500. Like we call. We could have some eights, some kings, some queens, some draws. No idea what the range is. 
the jack. I think I can still barrel with the ace of clubs. On the third club, I can probably fire really hard. It's gonna have a lot of jack 10, queen 10. I think we're gonna fire. Not too big, I don't wanna create a big pot, but I think 1800, something around those. That ballpark should be fine. Put some pressure on the 8x. Put some pressure on the queen and the jack that I have to probably fire three, but I think I'm ready to fire three. I don't think he's gonna fold much here, but I think he's gonna fold on the river. Quick call. Doesn't look like he's very strong. It could be like parent draws, stuff like that. I think my plan is gonna work. Okay, this is a gin card. I'm definitely gonna fire. I'm probably gonna bomb it. Maybe pot. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? Okay, this is strange. It's very strange. It feels like maybe a block bet. He has some kind of two pair that he doesn't really know what to do. Maybe he has a flush. The correct play here is... I should probably pull the trigger. I should probably go like 17, 18. But against guys that I don't know in the first hand of the tournament, I think I'm going to take it easy. I'm not sure if he's able to fold two pair or definitely not folding a flush. That's what he's representing. This is a very strange line. I don't think he's bluffing. Maybe some random 10-8, but still. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take it easy and just... And just get more information before I pull the trigger. I, don't know. I wanna do it, but I don't know. I'm gonna let it go. Strange line. Doesn't seem to be a pro. Gotta take a note. Our future hand, if he keeps making this blocking middling value, value hands. Jack Deuce of Diamonds. Pretty deep, so... I'm gonna have to proceed cautiously. Heads up. Interesting board. This, this hits me a little bit. Hmm, I usually... I don't know. Should I... I usually leak these boards, but we're quite deep. I don't know if this deep it applies, but... I also want to create this image of unorthodox lines. I think they may pay, that may pay off on the, on the river. I'm going to lead. I have an interesting hand. I have some back doors. Hits my board. I'm going to put some pressure on the queen 10 air ball hands. Yeah. I think it's still going to peel a bit wide. I have a lot of turns to, to take him off the hand. This is not one of them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to check. I have no pair, no draw. I think you probably already overfold on the flop versus the small size. Gotta check, and maybe if he checks back, I'm gonna try to steal it on the river. It doesn't look like a check back, but... Okay. This, but this is not bad. I might, I might, I might create some scenarios when I just check and let them bet, and then I'm gonna check raise and make, create a really, really big hand. Uh, it's nice. It's nice to keep him thinking, keep him guessing. What a weird stuff this guy is doing. I think that favors me, so I don't really mind with the don't lead. A bit loose, but it's fine.
down here, please. 200. The nine off. Okay, I can play with this. 600. Three is 600. This guy has been quiet so far. Sorry, it's a race. No, one ship is a call. Call, call, call. One race. ship is a call. Uh, Do you have 600? Yeah, 600. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay, it's probably not a professionally called. 400. Heads up. With the wrong ship domination. Okay, King 6-3. Easy C bed. Have some back doors. Gonna be 500. Hmm. Took a little bit to check. That is. That is strange. This is an auto check, but anyway. Auto C bet. Let's make it 500. Gonna fire a lot of turns, so let's see. Let's see how he reacts. Simple situation. Okay, it doesn't look like a pro. A pro would call with a 500 chip. It wouldn't put. A pro doesn't do 500. Five chips of 100. Good chance he's an amateur. Okay, gives me a gut shot, Queen of Diamonds. Also takes way too much time to check and not how to check, so at least I got that information out of the way. Easy second barrel, let's make it. How much is the pot? 2500? Yeah, let's go two thirds here. Put some pressure on the six, on the three, on the pairs, ace highs. 18. 18. 1800. Everything is strange here. Got quite stiff. Got quite stiff at the beginning of the hand now. Okay, the jig is up. He had a good hand. All right, got it. Got it. That's why it was so taking so much time. It was so stiff. He just flopped a big hand, I believe. Let's see if he keeps the pattern or. If he doesn't do that in the future, I'm probably going to attack. No, I know. This guy's playing a lot of hints. He's playing like he has somewhere to go. So far, it's been a crazy action table. Let's see. Oh, Jax. Jax, nice. Okay. How much do I make it? This has to be really deep. I have to make it really big. Get min raised. I'm gonna throw a bomb, take some value. Looks like he wants to play a lot of hands. This might look a bit bluffy. 25. Raise, 2,500. Man, this, this guy didn't come here at fold. Also, oh, snap call from Isildur. I have to proceed a bit cautious. Even though I have a good hand, I'm way too deep to create big pots on too many board textures. I have to be careful here. Not the best board. 
I'm gonna start by checking out of position versus two guys. So I'm just gonna check all my range here. And then, depending on the action, decide to keep going or let it go. The board is gonna be too scared for me to bet here. Turns and rivers are gonna be bad, so. Let's see what they do. Auto check, this is good. This is not good. I don't like when he's older. Let's see how much he bet. I don't like when he leans forward. Bet big. And usually leans forward when he's looking to play a big pot. He could have ace nine, but he's gonna have a lot of queens, a lot of draws, and he's gonna put me a lot of pressure. I cannot take this pressure on the turn. I think I'm just gonna let it go. Look like he's ready to play a big pot, and I cannot take any pressure. My hand could be good now, but it's gonna be very hard to hold the pressure. I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like he was ready to play a big pot. Stretch a little bit. Oh, there's stuff. Let's kiss the ring. <laughs> what a table. What is going on here? Is it a good table? People are on crack. Like, I've been playing for 10 minutes. Every pot is over 50 bigs. Every fucking pot. This is going to be great. Did you get We're involved all... in one of those pots? Yeah, but I fold. No. Oh, people are playing like they have somewhere to go. Some? They're like they have somewhere to go. They're playing like they're insane. insane. You what is that? Bro, I, I was in two tables, every table, the pot is 10k. Look, first hand, my table. Let me see. I raise 500, huh? bottom makes 16, uh, small blind makes uh, 5.5, I fold, bottom calls, jack 9, uh, 3, bet 4k, call, turn uh, deuce who puts a 2 flash draw, bet 14, call, river blank, uh, 6 of diamonds. It's already 1000 big blinds in there. <laughs> Check, check, showdown, uh, eight, nine, two birds. A small blind for better against King Jack. Yeah, my, my table just went right now. Raise, 400, 400, 1800, call, 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 call. <laughs> Four guys decided that 10 BBs, it's good, let's go. I don't know, you want to relax, chill? Tranquil. Let's see. Be nice to make some hands. I have a couple of guys here. I'm really ready to gamble. Raise. Try to get some hands. Come on. Dude hasn't seen many hands he didn't like. Let me see. Okay, this is nice. Thick versus him, it's a clear three bet for value. He's here to gamble, he's here to playing more half of the half of the deck. 24. There is 24. That's a long squeeze, bro. I think it's folding. Uh -huh. I think this guy's full of shit. Playing 60% of the deck, and now he wants to make make you look like he has a big hand. The sizing was small. I'm definitely not going anywhere, and I think he's really wide. Let's see a flop it really deep. I'm in position, and I I really think he doesn't have it. But anyway. I'd see a flop and play, play in position. I think I might be, might have to strap my seat belt because I'm in for a ride. I don't think for betting makes much sense. So let's just see a flop.
probably missed. He's air ball range. Still have a back door. Still gonna continue to most sizes unless he goes really big. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep him honest. Okay, this is, this is what the soft pot, yeah. Get a side backdoor flusher. My A side could be good. I think it's gonna be good here still a lot. I'm in position. I think I'm just gonna peel, try to improve or just or just steal from him. But but I don't like to have the hit in hand. I think I'm just gonna call. I think I still think he's full of shit. Hope he doesn't hit like a six or a four or something. Does it help? How much is a pot? Like 25, something like that. And I have like 36. Hmm. This is getting serious. This is a good hand. Okay, now, now I can battle. If he's bluffing, this is a hand that I can call a shove. If he checks, I'll probably check back because I think I'm still gonna have the best hand quite a bit. This doesn't look like a check. Oh, this doesn't look like a small size either. Okay, 25 in there, but 17 is like what, 42, 43, and I have, I have like 35, so the pot is bigger than my stack size. Okay, let me see where my options are. Call, call is fine, but the pot is gonna be really, really big. I might have to call some rivers, and it's gonna be very hard if I don't improve. Uh, but it's an option. The problem with calling is they might bluff me on the river, so I don't like that. I might have. So sho I think shoving is the best. If he has a bluff, I just win the, the pot right here. If he has a good draw, this is good. He could have hearts. If he has hearts, I'm gonna stack him. Maybe he has his three, his five, or a eight, seven suited. I think I'm just gonna shove. I shut down all these bluffs, which I, that's what I think he has. And if he has a draw, I make him deny his equity or a call, something like that, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, the pot is really big, a great pricing. I think I'm just gonna shove. If I have the best hand, I'll take down the pot. Hold on. Oh, he has something. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He called me with a gut shot. We're good. Wow. Really, really good outcome. It's a big pot. 36. I took it down with his high. Well, he really he's ready to gamble. No, 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 no. King high? 30, that's why you give him 400 back. It's 36 5, so no 400 back. Those 400 is mine. Yeah. 36 5, it's exact. Don't have. This is my this is my change. What? It's shenanigans. I have 36.5, that's what you said, right? No, I said the 36.1. You said 36.1? You are good, yes. My bad. That's a really, really big pot. How much do I have? Like 100k? I expected some action. This is really loose action. Thanks. Let me see. 75, 80, 90, 95. Yeah, about 100. These guys are playing really wild. You're just gonna have to wait. Here it comes again. Okay, ace check off. Yeah. This is just a three better. He's playing a lot of hands. I'm gonna punish him his weak range. 
How much does he have? I cannot see. Is that like 20k? Anyway, clear three bets. Let's create a big pot. If I can hit something, it's gonna be dominated a lot. So let's go. This guy likes the Hollywood, but he's just falling. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Can I get a count, please? How much is that like? <laughs> 60 bigs? Well, put them, put them go. <laughs> okay, I think he's honest. You really are just trying to induce. 17,800. Yeah. 60 bigs, but I'm not folding. This guy's just gambling too much. Let's go. 10 9 off. Wow. Okay, this is a good card. All right. Okay. The man came to fire. Gotta respect that. Gotta respect that. Got some wild hands, anyway. Okay, two stacks. This is a great, great start. 100, 110, 111, about 113. Oh, I thought the other table was good, but this one is giving me a lot of action. I was happy to hold. They had some outs on the first one. On the second one, oh, it was a bit different. Eight. Easy raise. Okay. This time he played fast. Let's see if he. How he acts. The other time he had a big hand. He. Took him a little bit to to call when he had a big hand. Okay, checked fast now. This is an easy bet. Double checking his cards again. No. Okay. Looks weak. First because he's calling way faster than he did the other time. And because he double checked his cards, he's probably looking for a backdoor kind of hand, like a queen 10 with backdoors. I think I'm have the best hand here a lot, probably. Not all the time, but almost all the time. We could have them fours, deuces, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna check. It might still have some fours or or deuces, and I probably call the river if if everything breaks. Well, this is a break. I block nine eight, which I don't really like, or eight six suited, but that's not so important. Now fours and deuces will have to bluff because they're playing the board and he can still have, I don't know, jack 10. Oh, how much is that? Pot size, it's a big sizing, but... Okay, he's saying that he has a seven. That's it, right? A five doesn't snap call because the other time he did the little acting kind of thing. So he could have a seven, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Fast means weak. When you take some time, it's because he has a good hand. This call is really, really loose. So. Beginning to get a, gr a grasp on, on how the table's playing, who's who, what, what type of game they have. So, and I have a big stack. This is this is a great start. This is a really good start. Okay, it's queen. Yeah. 
Easy three bet. Yeah, I got a three bet. Take the other guys out of the pot. Create a big pot. In position. Let's make it. Make it 28. I have a lot of experience with him. 28. Okay, call pretty fast. I feel when he calls fast, he's usually weaker as well. Put some really big hands with him. And it tends to slow down. Did he check? Yeah. This is gonna range to bed here. Probably fire some turns. Depends on, on which turn. I'm just gonna go one third and go from there. Let's see what he does. You can have still jack, some pairs, some gutters, some backdoor. 7 6 got there, it's loose got there. Got the ace of spades, I think I'm just gonna fire. Not a lot of bluffs. If spade comes, I can triple, and I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on the ace five, six of sevens, eights, nines, and probably I can put some pressure on the jack. I think this is a clear bluff. This is gonna go. Can I go too big? Nuts changed. The board changed. I think I'm gonna go like 65%, something like that. And if he calls, I'll probably just bear on unless the straight continues. Let's see what he does. He might raise if he has a good hand. But it'd be hard for him not to raise. Looks strong. I don't know. What does he have? Ten. Sure. Come here. Guy looks strong. This is the. This is. Yeah, this is the best bluff I have. Ace ten got there. Spades got there. It's gonna be for him. It's gonna be very hard for him to call with anything but a jack or better, but. Feels strong though. But six is six, five, ace four is five, seven, seven. A lot of weak hands <laughs> that I don't block. I have the ace of spades, that's not, that's not too bad. Only ace three of spades, that's what I block. I don't want to suck. I want to check back. But I think I have to bluff this one. But it looks strong. You can also bluff raise me. I'm gonna go two thirds. My read is strong, but it's not so strong. It doesn't look like a fold. Fuck me, I'm getting raised. Say goodbye to these ships, they're never coming back. Maybe so. feeling about this one. Hopefully it folds and I get my feeling wrong. Oh, okay. Okay, brother. Fuck me. Fuck. I felt he had it. Fuck. No, I should bluff, but it feels like he had. How much do I have left?
Online mind inside of a life, bro. This is a tough dilemma. Should I check back? Should I follow my reads? Should I play technical? Players in the six handed event have completion to hand you on a 15 minute break. Break time. I didn't want to get your first. How would you like? I don't say fucking tilt. What, you? What happened? You have infant. No, everything's great, but... The... Oh, I tried about uh, my screen off. Then I just cut off. I feel this kind of weak pre-flop. He was very distracted. Uh, the English guy. But the guy just snaps every fucking thing every time he's weak. Like, he had the flush throw, he just... Before you put the chips in, he was, was already calling, like, super standard. Snap when he's uh, weak. And then it was three bit pot. And uh, jack 5-3, whatever, I see about one third. I jack cut off, he calls. Turn for spades, I have ace, queen, ace, spades. Like, everybody in the world knows they're supposed to barrel this one. I barrel, but it felt like... It felt like he was fucking happy, you know? You know when they have the happy face, they like... That's already changed. Then river is 10. No, okay. what can I be bluffing? Okay. Yeah, he's king, I'm down barrel turn, and I have shot on vault. He's queen with ace of spades. Sometimes he's queen, I check back too. Well, okay, no, not shot on vault, but... Yeah. No, and ace 10 is probably the only other thing I'm gonna have. Or king 10 spades, 10 nine spades. It's hard for me to be yeah. bluffing at this point. Like, I have to be really ace six, some bullshit that I don't even three bet. No. It's three bet, no, it's tight. Free flop. So yeah, I go with GTO bluff. Of course, I get live read check shove. GTO bluff versus Vrailus. Yes, of course, right. Now he had like fucking six, I don't know, maybe six, seven, fives, like shitty hand like that, you know? Like, not strong pre flop, but then on the turn, on the turn I felt like he was. I, on the turn I made a little trick, like the pot was. I know I'm gonna fire a lot three times. So the pot is 11, five, and I make it like six or 65. To look like I'm gonna check back. So maybe you tell me if he has it, you know? I was trying to, hey, do I, maybe I should make it like 5,000. Yeah, same. And then he, now he just can't hold himself. He's just gonna, oh, 5,000, he's gonna check back. Maybe he has whatever, 10s or jack 10, I'm gonna raise. One more, yeah. Uh, look at this. <laughs> oh, so, you good? Good 10? Mm, yes. I see you've been uh, grinding the pool. Yeah, that's not really good news. <laughs> You're grinding the pool. I think I'm gonna, I was, yeah, I think I, is it okay? Very tough, this one. No, I'm gonna play it. No, no, I think because always. My first two tables were home games. My first two tables were easier than 50 euro online six months. No, yeah, yeah. And and my first two were ridiculous, like nah. ridiculous. I wrote, I wrote on the, I'm doing dans la tête. I wrote on the logger when I changed the uh, table. Merde. And then I got to the new one. I said this one is better. <laughs> Incredible. I, unbelievable. 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 Many, many wrecks left, many wrecks in the win. And many people are just so... F win. People, except me, eh? They are so fucking tilted. <laughs> but I, I think the win is going to be bad too. High rake. The, you don't want... The, the, the VIP sometimes would rather play this than play yeah, when... Play it wasn't... They played the bracelet. It wasn't like promoted huge. I'm also have, a, I have my flight to, you know, after this one, so... How are you doing? Good. Good? Yeah. Good stack? Uh, no, I have like 35 pen. It's okay. I uh, lost a very big hand, but I think I don't think I could have no. Still have, uh, we have to go? We have to go. No. Okay. So I have 90 bigs, yeah. So it's totally fine. It's yeah. Six seven, you had something like that. <laughs> Maybe bluff. It could also be a big hand. Doesn't mean he had it. He could have like six seven and decided to bluff. Six five, six seven was the nut.
table might slow down a little bit. We got a German pro. Played him for a long time. Pretty good, very experienced. Like him too. Seems to be on a bad mood today. But this this definitely a different type of player. Online rag that I battled throughout the years. Very capable. Queen three. Just gonna play a small pot limp. Gentleman's been playing. He's been playing passive. But when he gets in the hand, he bets a lot. He likes to see bet a lot. Oh, wow. I wanted to pot control this. What are you doing? 700. I think he might sell. I don't think he's bluffing too much here, but I think it's he have like a 10 or a queen that he just bet. I'm gonna call. Have backdoor of clubs. People usually don't attack this board, so I don't know. Okay, this helps me a little bit. Kickers don't play unless he has queen jack. King queen, king queen, you probably raise, so I'm good. Should I lead? Let's see what he does. I think he's probably gonna check back, yeah, okay. Good chance he has an ace. He could, he could hit this jack too. Jack nine, jack eight, you have those. Or jack seven, jack three. Straight gets there, but I don't think he has a king. What king can he have? King 10, yeah, it's unlikely. I think I'm just gonna block bet. Yeah, I'm gonna go small. 800. See if he calls with an ace. Mm -hmm. Quick fold. He could have an ace or probably a jack. A jack is more like. I don't know. Where's home, Vienna? I go home, also. home, home. Uh, close to Basel, Switzerland. King Queen off. The German border. You're German. Yeah, German. Race. Race. Swiss border. Quite nice. Okay. I have to wait for the squeeze. All right. You play like hundred. Oh, it's up. oh, like 70. 70? Okay. Yeah. 200 BBs deep in position. Okay. okay, this is a good board. Texture will change, so I might want to use some... Yeah, I think I'm going to use the a mix with the bigger size as well. And some checks, this is going to be a bigger size for sure. Let's make it... Let's make it 1400. Didn't look like you liked this bet. Seems weak. A weak queen, some draw. This is a good card actually. Because now you can have 7x of spades, 4x of spades. I don't have the king of spades. So it's gonna have some hands that just cannot fold. And all the queens obviously that I kill. I think I'm just gonna overbet. Do I go the big overbet or the small overbet? I think I'm gonna go with the small overbet. Like, yeah, I can go 150% or 130. I think I'm gonna go 130. The nine hits the pairs that I don't have. Let's see. It doesn't seem very strong. Very different from last time. Okay. Probably had like a seven or a four. Jack off. Easy to defend. Yeah. 
gentleman is playing quite conservative, but when he gets to the hand, he bets a lot. It feels like he bets every time you check to him. That's my understanding. He plays not a lot of hands, but then when he gets to the, the pot, I think he's, he tries to steal it. Okay. This is interesting. Because he's playing conservative. He shouldn't have many eights. And I think he's betting all these ace highs, all these sixes, fours. But my combo is bad. I, can, I think I can check raise. If he's betting all these hands, I think I can check raise and put some pressure. If he gets to the river, he doesn't have an eight, I think he's gonna fold. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see how it goes. 45. Re raise. How much does he have? He has like 60k, that's like 150 bigs. Okay, cool. You can have some draws, you can have some pairs. Maybe some ace king. So I have, I have a jack of spades, but... I do, right? Yeah, I have a jack of spades. I blocked the draws. This is not a good hand to bluff. But I think this is a good spot. It doesn't look comfortable. If I put him... If I end up all in Kenny Cole without an eight, I think it's gonna be really hard. I think I'm just gonna go. Maybe at six or sevens. Ace king, ace queen. Nine x. I'm gonna put the pressure. I'm gonna play like two turns and I'm gonna shove river. Some rivers will f complete draws. Then it's gonna be even harder for him to call with over pairs. I think just, yeah, just an easy bluff. Not an easy bluff, but a bluff that's gonna work a lot. Okay, let's go. I'm not stopping. I think the A size will fold now. So on the river it's gonna be just pairs, but I'm still gonna fire. Unless like a three comes. If a three comes or an eight, I think I'm just gonna check. Or if I make a top pair. I think it's gonna work. Nice, nice. Bit ballsy, but it, it feels like the gentleman is just betting a lot of the hands every time he has it. He starts with good ones, but he bets all of them. So if you put the pressure back to him, I don't think he can, on some textures, he can't he can't hold the pressure. I have a big stack. button again King gate off easy raise 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 okay Check back where I can try to bet and clear, clear some out. I don't think they're gonna raise me much. I think I can bet versus aggressive guys. I can't bet this thing because I'm gonna get raised way too often. Here, I think I can just bet. If they raise, I fold. Okay. Fuck. And I'm gonna get some information. They're not very aggressive. <laughs> okay. Double checking his cards again. The last time we did it was weak. Also did it strong. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm good here, I think. Called really fast. He's gonna have some nines, but he's gonna have a lot of queen jack, queen 10, jack 10, a7, a6, king 7, okay. 86, 87, 5x. I think I'm fairly good. I think I can easily bet for value on the turn. Make him fold his draws or charge his draws. And then on the river, Depending on how fast he calls and how confident I feel, 
I might bet River on some breaks too. I think I'm good here. Let's study him a little bit. Okay, this is good. I think a nine calls faster than this, so I really think I have the best hand. I'm gonna bet River if a safe card comes. My image is also good to get called now, because I just want a big hand off of him. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Making good hands, making good decisions. Thank you. Expectations are always high for this $10,000 Six Max event, and thanks to you, Joao, no one was disappointed. You gave us a very aggressive start with a flurry of raises, big bluffs, and even some rather improbable pre-flop matchups. It's been just over two hours since the start of the game, and you've already managed to almost double your starting stack. We'll be tuning in for the next chapter of this story with your 250 blinds in the next episode of Inside the Mind of a Pro.